What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the link to the McMaster car library in order to import hardware into Fusion 360 without you having to model it. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the great things about Fusion 360 is how good it is for creating mechanical items. Well, one of the things that you may run into is there may be a lot of different mechanical items that you want to use in order to model things out, but you don't necessarily want to model all of the hardware. Well, one of the really cool things about this is there's actually access to a whole library of a ton of different hardware items built into Fusion 360. So um, you can find it under the insert option, under the insert McMaster car component. And so McMaster Car is a hardware supply company that has a ton of different kinds of hardware that they sell. Well, one of the cool things about what they're doing is not only do they have this hardware available for sale, a lot of this hardware is actually modeled in 3D and contained inside of their 3D library. So when you open this up, you can actually click on these different items and some of them, a bunch of them actually have um, 3D models built in. So you can see how there's just a ton of different things in here. Not all of them have 3D models associated with them, but I would say pretty much all the hardware does. I don't know about a lot of this other supplies, but at least the hardware and the tubes and fittings and things like that, those all have 3D models associated with them. So let's say for example that we wanted to bring in like a bolt. So you can click on the screws and bolts option. You can see how there's just all of these different options for different things that you can bring in. Well in this situation, let's say we wanted to bring in a hex head screw. So you can click through and there are multiple different options for different kinds of screws and these are real world screws so things you can actually buy in real life. So let's say for example that we were to click on this steel hex head screws and then there's options for fully or partially threaded and then when you do this what this does is this sorts this down below by what you've selected and there's options on the left hand side to uh, further sort this but in this situation let's say that we wanted a 440 3 8 of an inch hex head screw. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and you can click on each one of these and you can see how this gives you an option to add these to cart and this is kind of off to the side so you can't see the whole thing but if they're for all of these items there's also an option here to click on product detail. Well if you click on product detail that's going to bring you in here and that's going to tell you a ton about this item but then down at the bottom for those that have it there's also options to bring in 3D models of these items. So you can bring in an actual 3D model of this hex head screw for example. So and the way that you can do that is you can click this drop down and you can see how there's a number of different kinds of items in here. Well in this situation we're going to use 3D step and you're going to notice that there's also an option for 3D step no threads. So if you didn't want the threads to actually be modeled you could pick the second option. But I'm going to go with the 3D step and I'm going to click save. And What that's going to do is that's going to bring this in to your 3D model. And so now, if we take a look at this, if we zoom in, this actually has an appropriately modeled and appropriately sized um, hex head screw inside of Fusion 360. And now you can take this and you can place it wherever you want it to. So if you wanted to align it with like the holes in this object or something like that, you could do that. So you can actually bring in real world hardware sized in an accurate way that you can then build on top of. And you can see that I've downloaded some other things over here. Um, so there's just a ton of different things in here. There's, there's pipe fittings and there's different pulleys and there's eye bolts. Just a lot of stuff is contained inside of this library. I mean, you could probably do a whole channel on just building stuff out of the hardware that's actually contained inside this library. And the really cool thing about this is this is all accurately modeled to a real world size. So like for example, there's this track fitting in here. It's accurately modeled so we could actually model out something and create like production drawings from it if we wanted to or something that's just really accurate and really realistic. So as far as I can tell, access to all of these is completely free and you can download as many of these as you want. So I would say go in and play around with it because I think this is a really great feature. I'm really excited to see what we, what we can do with it. So that's where I'm going to end this video. 
video, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Are you doing anything with this library? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.